Okay, since I don't have much time on live stream, uh, stream yards, I mean, um, I'm going to make this real quick. Good morning, everyone. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I'm going to tear right into this. And this morning, something's telling me to uh, do this with the tarot. And I don't know why, but um, let me pull one. Okay, you have, today you have the Knight of Wands. All right, and here are some of the key words uh, for the Knight of Wands. Courageous, energetic, charming, hero, rebellious, hot-tempered, and free spirit. The Knight of Wands symbolism is straightforward. When it appears, it, is, it means a great time to get away and travel. The person should feel charged up and full of life. One is also ready to get things done. He is adventurous and can find fun things to do no matter where he is. There is never a dull moment when the Knight of Wands is around. When the Knight of Wands shows up in a reading, it seems to suggest that the seeker wants to complete important tasks. One wants to impress others with one's knowledge and skill. The card also shows up when the person is planning to move to another place of residence. If you are starting a creative project, then you should do so with lots of energy and enthusiasm. However, you should balance it with realistic and well-rounded views. You should also have a plan that takes into account the consequences of your actions. Getting a Knight of Wands in a reading can also mean there is an event you don't expect to happen soon. More often than not, the Knight of Wands indicates a hasty change of job, residence, or anything in your life. Upright love meaning. Someone who is full of vitality and fearlessness may have just entered your love life with the Knight of Wands tarot love meaning. They are likely to be very impulsive, charming, and passionate, but their rash and volatile na nature can make it difficult for them to settle down with one person. If this card doesn't represent a person, it can instead point to a period in your love life that is exciting, but also erratic and adventurous. You may be more prone to take risk at this time, which can pay off handsomely. Fear of rejection may not be a problem at this moment. Career Meeting The Knight of Wands is an enthusiastic card. The energy is a perfect complement for those who are starting new ventures. You are likely passionate about the new project you are facing at work. You must be eager to take on new responsibilities. If, however, you are not starting anything new, you might be a bit frustrated at this lack of progress. The Knight of Wands can be a bit of a double-edged sword in that way. If you have a burst of enthusiasm but fear it might be going to waste, try to seek out new opportunities yourself. It might be that you have been waiting for things to fall into your lap when really you should have been seeking them out. Utilize your energy to advance even if it takes extra effort on your part. Financial Okay, uh, keywords, sudden influx of money, using finances for travel, expanding horizons. This card can sometimes signal that a large amount of money might be coming your way soon. It can be an ideal time to spend some money on a trip. Travel is a good way to use this influx in cash because while you will not see a return on your investments, you will learn and broaden your horizons. Thus, travel at this time is not a waste of money. It is a smart, holistic choice. Do not give in to the mindless spending. Use your money instead of expanding your mind and take up new adventures. Investments in these types of projects will benefit you in future, whereas mindless spending will waste your good fortune. And there we have it. All right, and while I was uh, cooking uh, yesterday, Thanksgiving, I took a little fo footage, and uh, here uh, I'm going to play it as, uh, eh, what the hey, it could be a second segment. So here's what I took last night.
Okay, I think I overdid the turkey a little bit. <laughs> I left it in just a little bit too long. But you would not believe I took a sample already and that meat is so delicious. I'll tell you. So, I like mine well done anyway. So that's how the turkey turned out. So you need to really try it yourself. And there's the cheesy broccoli rice casserole. Mm. Can't wait to try it. And there's the stuffing right out of the oven. It's still sizzling. You can hear it sizzle. But ooh. Okay, the sweet potatoes and pineapple have been baked with my brown sugar butter glaze and I just added marshmallows and it's going back in the oven and you'll see it when it's done. Okay, sweet potatoes and pineapple, crushed pineapple with marshmallow baked over top and they're done. They smell good too. I should have added more marshmallow. I didn't realize how badly they'd melt up. But it still looks good. Mm. There's my homemade cranberry sauce. Mmm. With real cranberries. Pretty baby. cream cheese instead of milk okay the ham the ham's covered with crushed pineapple and it's got raisins that's a raisin uh, and there's cloves I poked in there for flavoring and I poured uh, brown sugar and butter over it, mixed together. And then there's potatoes in there because I love potatoes baked in ham broth. There's some over there. Mmm. It looks so good. I wish y'all could smell it. Okay, what I said, baked brie. This is called Brie en Croute. And I got a little bit too dark from what I was wanting. The middle wasn't getting done and I kept waiting and waiting and waiting and then just, boom, it got done. But I didn't burn it. It's just well done, almost burn it, but there you go. There's dinner. Now here's the brie when cut. The brown is the crust. It's real flaky, really good. And the white center is the cheese. That's the brie. And that it is so delicious. You've got to try this called Brie en Croute. Very simple to make and well worth it. I give it a thumbs up. Now we're going to tear into it. Hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye bye.
So thanks for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Watch out for that Good Friday shopping. It's a killer. And uh, blessed be, peace, believe, and until tomorrow, bye-bye.